Welcome to the how-to video for the Rube Goldberg Robot Challenge playset. In this video, we'll show you how to build and make your chain reaction work successfully. The Robot Challenge comes with everything you see here. Check your instruction sheet to ensure you have everything. Choose a flat surface for your assembly location. Place the sticky dots on the blue frame in locations shown. This will secure the base to the flat surface to minimize movement. If you find other pieces moving excessively during a chain reaction, you can use the extra sticky dots to secure them down as well. Then slide the black loading dock underneath. Next, add seven purple connector cones to the blue frame as shown. Insert the large red pole into the purple connector cones as shown. Then insert the yellow spinner track into this purple connector. Add a connector to the top of each pole and connect them with the small electric bolt. Next, add the helping hand to the red pole. Balance the wooden plank onto the toolbox and place the yellow hard hat into the hole in the wooden plank. The small helping hand snaps into the small helping base. The small helping hand clicks in easily. Insert the yellow ramp into the blue frame. Align the wooden plank as shown. The construction hat must be aligned with the ramp so that the white bowling ball lands inside. Next, we will build the conveyor belt. Take the two conveyor belt pieces and squeeze them together until it's a snug fit. Add two small boxes to the bottom of the conveyor belt as shown. Next, we can insert the rollers. Start with the hand wheel roller and place it into the middle of the conveyor belt. The hand wheel pops into place on the side. Insert the remaining five rollers. Add the assembled conveyor belt to the loading dock. Now we can build the workbench. Take the workbench with tracks and insert the workbench legs. Then attach the tracks to the back of the brick wall. Align the flat side of the red poles to the ones in the swinging arm. Apply a sticky dot to the bottom of the robot head as shown. This will ensure a better connection to the robot pieces when the chain reaction takes place. Slide the swinging arm back and place the robot head upside down into the hand. Balance the large electric bolt onto a purple connector cone. Place the robot legs on the conveyor belt. Be sure to slide the notch into Rube Goldberg's wrench. Now we can wind up the robot torso by taking a robot arm and winding it clockwise. Then replace the arms onto the torso as shown. Place the robot torso on the box and put the box on the workbench. Attach the spinner to the top of the yellow spinner track. Lift the helping hand to the spinner. Place the white bowling ball onto the yellow slide and we are ready to try this. Let's try this. No! What went wrong? Let's see that again in slow motion. The ball hits Rube releasing the robot's feet, but they speed down the conveyor belt too quickly and knock over the lightning bolt, triggering the device out of order. Tinker time. We need to decrease the speed of the conveyor belt by adding a sticky dot in between the two rollers at the end to connect them. This will stop the last two rollers from moving and slow down the robot feet so it lands in the proper location. Reset! Let's try this! Success! Challenge complete! So how does it work? The Robot Factory Challenge uses the principles of motors, levers, and gravity to complete the chain reaction. A spring-loaded motor is inside the robot's legs. A circular spring inside the motor is tightened when you turn the robot's legs, which stores energy. That then drives the gears on the motor once it is released. Gravity is also at work here. It is the invisible force that pulls everything down toward the center of the Earth and it's what causes the robot parts to fall downward, the ball to roll down the ramp, and the spinner to drop from the top of the pole to the bottom. Levers are simple machines that do work. In this case, the wooden plank with the hard hat acts as a lever. 
When the ball drops into the hard hat, gravity pulls it down to the ground, and in turn, the other side moves up to push on the helping hand and continue the chain reaction. Levers can be used to move all sorts of things, even kids on a seesaw. And if you want to make an even crazier obstacle, combine the robot challenge with other sets to make even bigger, crazier, more elaborate challenges. Have fun and keep inventing!